Hey guys, it's your boy Yort here, back with my training journal. Uh, I wanted to start out this episode saying I class for EIDO has just been really going to practice for our testing coming up in the middle of May. So there's nothing really new going on on that front other than just constantly practicing or the written portion of our test, uh, which is all the sword parts, which I will be re which I will be redoing uh, the sword part video for a separate kind of thing. So I'm excited about that. But for EI, there's no real news other than just practicing for the test and getting ready for it. So before we get into the what I really want to talk about for this uh, episode, I want to start with our sponsor today, my sponsor and yours, H2O. It's delicious. You should drink some of it. <sighs> delicious. What I wanted to start with today, uh, I wanted to share my updated version of my training schedule, which, hey, just to be clear, this is not a uh, training schedule that I would recommend to anybody else. I don't recommend you follow it. I don't recommend you structure your workouts after mine. I work, everyone has their own specific, you know, way they like to work out, their own goals, and everyone has their own different abilities and you should structure your workouts and your training regimens based on those. So please don't by any stretch of the imagination follow what I'm doing because this is meant for me. This is based on my training, my expertise, and you know my past experiences and what I'm looking for for myself and you know what I want, what skills I want to have ready for the jobs that I am looking forward to. So just wanted to say do not by any means uh, take this as instructional. So that's on you. It's, uh, it's something that's constantly changing all the time. It's, uh, just the latest iteration of how I'm going about preparing myself and, um, just working on my body and working on my skills and my training stuff for stunts and just my own martial arts training, which is why I kind of wanted to shift my martial arts journal for this channel to the, mar uh, the training journal, which is now it's going to become. So, uh, I split my weight training between uh, light and heavy uh, weeks because uh, I just like that for the training so I can kind of keep it split up and I have um, the muscle groups split differently as well. So one week from the light weights, I'll do ch uh, chest and tries on Monday, back and buys on Tuesday, legs on Wednesday, rest on Thursday, uh, at least for the weight training, I rest on Thursday. Um, Friday, upper body, Saturday, and lower body. And then Sunday, I rest. And then for the second week, I start Monday, upper body. Uh, and this is this is heavy weights for uh, this next week. Tuesday, lower body. Wednesday, push weight, uh, push exercises. Thursday, pull exercises. Friday, then do legs. And then that whole weekend, rest for um, weight training. And I just like that. Because it allows my body to kind of, like one week I can focus on technique, I can focus on, you know, making sure I'm really taking my time with lighter weights, and then the next week I can really push myself with heavier ones and going for longer sets and longer reps. So, uh, next, I trade off, um, oh, I start the week with core, and I trade off core and cardio because I think that way I can get f uh, four times of... Uh, core in the week because I think that's three to four times is, is pretty healthy and that's uh, what I wanted to achieve and then cardio three times a week because that's that's that seems to be a healthy amount for me I don't like doing so much all the time I have it spread out for my EI training that I'm training EIDO uh, or EI techniques at least every single day like Monday and Tuesday I'm working on it at the house Wednesday uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I have class and I have, I can work at home on Thursdays. Uh, that way I just have it spread out the entire week. Um, and then I have point work and hand work kind of offsetting each other because point work I, I, I like for, um, I have certain techniques for rapier, for, um, spear, for pole arm techniques. And then for hand work, I really wanted to focus on my stick work, boxing, and I, I don't really work with Tanfa at all too much, but I do have some that I wanted to train in. 
so that's something I wanted to put some time into because it's a it's a relatively cheap and easy weapon for um to get a hold of and I can use it against sticks for combat for certain movies or certain projects so that's something that I find interesting and I want to get a hold of uh, so I offset those by doing those every other day knife I have throughout the week and offsetting um, the handwork days because the stick work can kind of be interchangeable with the knife but for the knife specific days those are going to be for the patterns that I'm going to be uh, the cutting patterns that I know that I've learned through my different stunt trainings uh, sword and shield I have a heater shield which is kind of clunky and a little bit um, it, it, the way the the handrail or the the way you where you put your hand the handles inside are kind of clunky and they don't really uh, fit comfortably with my shoulder so I need to find a better shield but I still need to get used to m playing with the one that I have and then groundwork is something that's kind of new to me I don't really have any background in wrestling uh, I have a little bit of work with uh, uh, some hand-to-hand -hand from stage combat but other than that I have no specific like wrestling or groundwork in my repertoire as it is now but that's something I want to work on so I'm, for that I'm just gonna be doing like really really basic drills just to get myself used to uh, playing and moving and getting up and down on that 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 should be it for the training journal I thank you guys for listening to me if you have any comments uh, or things you think I could do better or maybe how I'm adjusting my rest days it should change um, I'm open to I'm open to crit critiques uh, I just want to do the best I can uh, thanks I hope you find it interesting I really find you know working for my uh, just working on stuff and techniques really it really fulfills me it's something I find fun so thanks for listening thanks for hanging out I appreciate it I'll see y'all next week